Hey everybody, Matt Travis coming to you at the Potential U from our vacation spot here on Lake Winnipesaukee. Um, you can tell um, I'm definitely on vacation. I'm not rocking my usual attire. I got my vacation cowboy hat rocking. Um, today I really wanted to dig in to three tips on how to be successful with your diet and health goals while on vacation. Now first, I want you to know that the number one focus of vacation should ultimately be relaxation and, and definitely enjoying your time off. Um, so if you take a week off from your current plan, it won't be the end of the world as long as you don't have like super bad gastrointestinal issues or extreme food allergies. Nevertheless, you may have been working really hard and have been really disciplined with your health goals over the past couple months and you might be getting some anxiety and or dreading going on vacation and losing control and maybe ruining all of your progress. So instead of worrying, I want you to try to use these three tips and hopefully they will help bring down your anxiety uh, a ton. So key number one, decide exactly what you want ahead of time. Now, if your decision is that you're going to eat whatever you want, then the, the worst thing that you can do is beat yourself up over something that you consciously decided to do. So make your decision and be okay with the consequences. That's, that's super key. Now, the real secret is to program your brain and then stick to it. Don't focus on what you don't want because if you focus on not eating junk food, that is exactly what you're going to do. It is a self-fulfilling prophecy. You're going to say, I don't want to eat these cookies, but then your brain is gonna say, but you love cookies. These cookies taste so good. You know you want these cookies. And then you are definitely going to eat all of the cookies. And then, of course, what does everybody do? They beat themselves up because you said that was exactly what you didn't want to do. Has that ever happened to any of you? I'm sure it has definitely happened to me. So if you want to stick to your goals, set your brain by focusing on what you do want rather than what you don't want. For example, say to yourself, I am choosing to eat on my food plan because I feel better and achieving my goals is more important than eating junk. So I'm setting that intention. Another way is I really enjoy eating real food. It tastes so good to me. I love this. So it's getting into your brain, getting into your subconscious. And now your mind will positively be more supportive in helping you achieve your goals. So really you just have to make that initial decision. And either way, just do it before you go on vacation so that you are in control and not your unconscious mind. Now, key number two, set your parameters. So you need to define exactly what your flexibility is going to be like and what you're willing to tolerate and what ultimately is 100% off limits. This is important because you don't want to eat anything that is going to overly hurt or inflame you and or maybe set you back a ton. So for me, I have gastrointestinal issues. So there's certain things that I just wouldn't do. Um, now, the, here's an example, like eating a whole carton of ice cream when you're lactose intolerant. That's not the best idea. But if you know that you're going to be going out with friends or family and you plan on having a little bit of wine or maybe a little bit of dessert and you don't have any overly aggressive gastrointestinal issues, you'll be much happier with yourself knowing that you made the decision to be more flexible with your diet or your health goals um, and not compelled to beat yourself up for making that choice to go outside of your eating plan for this vacation. That's totally fine. Now, let's talk about key number three, and this one's a big one. It's really just planning ahead and preparing. So plan ahead and prepare. Whether you are staying, on, uh, staying at a vacation home like I am right now, or a hotel or a resort, you just wanna plan and prepare for what you're going to be going into. 
For me right now, we are staying at a vacation home on a lake in Winnipesaukee in New Hampshire. And um, so I'm able to bring a lot of the food that I want to cook for myself so I can help try to stay on track. Um, and, you know, really just eating food that's going to support me. When I go on a business trip, however, and I'm staying in hotels, I, I tend to research food choices ahead of time on Yelp and Google and things like that to ensure the chances of consuming the best food that's going to support my goals. Bottom line, the more you research and the more you do to, to set yourself up for success um, ahead of time, the more in control you will be over maintaining your goals. So, in review, if you can decide ahead of time, so step one, if you can decide ahead of time what your food choices are going to be and what you're going to eat, that is going to help you make the best choice because you won't be making a more difficult choice on the spot, which is way harder, <laughs> much, much harder, especially when there's like a box of cookies or a, a carton of ice cream staring you down. Number two, also set your parameters. Figure out your level of flexibility. Key number three, plan ahead and prepare. If you use these keys, you will feel better and make better, more conscious choices while you're on vacation based around whatever your goals are at that time. Now, remember, you have infinite potential. So keep showing up, taking action, and you will get some results.